This is Casual Citizen. Begin transmission. Welcome to the first episode of Casual Citizen, an ongoing dialogue about Star Citizen and eventually Squadron 42. I'm your host, Alisiana, from the Mystic Worlds Gaming Blog. My goal for this series is to have a bi-weekly, down-to-earth conversation about Star Citizen to help people with a casual interest learn about the features, lore, news, community, and current state of the game. Let's get going with our first episode. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. What is Star Citizen? It's only fair that I start at the beginning when covering a topic for casual followers. For those of you already familiar with the game, I'm sorry, but this episode isn't for you. Star Citizen is many things, some of which are different to different people. The game itself is the brainchild of veteran game developer Chris Roberts, who is most widely known for his Wing Commander series and the associated movie. Under the banner of Cloud Imperium Games, he's now developing his dream space sim and first-person universe, Star Citizen. What is so compelling about the planned content for Star Citizen that people are willing to fund it to such an unprecedented amount? The development costs are being covered using a crowdfunding model that to date has raised a record-breaking $104 million and counting. Let's begin with a quote from the official game site, robertspaceindustries.com. From the mind of Chris Roberts, acclaimed creator of Wing Commander and Freelancer, comes Star Citizen. 100% crowdfunded, Star Citizen aims to create a living, breathing science fiction universe with unparalleled immersion, and you're invited to follow every step of development. More than a space combat sim, more than a first-person shooter, and more than an MMO, Star Citizen is the first-person universe that will allow for unlimited gameplay. End quote. Based on that blurb, you come away with an understanding that Star Citizen has a massively multiplayer persistent universe that contains space combat, first-person shooter combat, and an open-ended gameplay mechanic where the player decides what role to assume and how they will interact with others and the world around them. The latter is often referred to as a sandbox. However, in addition to the make-your-own fun of a sandbox game, there will also be a robust questing system, diverse trade professions, and a dynamic and responsive in-game economy. That alone is a whole lot of game. But wait, there's more. Because that's not enough to wrap your brain around, Star Citizen is also incorporating never-before-seen game mechanics such as multi-cruise ships, a completely seamless universe where you can move from deep space down to planet-side landing zones, high-definition streaming tech of procedurally generated planets, and space combat using Newtonian physics. Because you know, all that other stuff wasn't quite enough. I'm just saying. If I had to put Star Citizen into the narrow context of other games you might know, it's like combining bits of EVE Online, plus Destiny, plus other very common MMO tropes, and then next-gen technology and animation. Okay, hold on to all of that, because that's Star Citizen, and it's only one of the games that's being developed. In parallel, Cloud Imperium Games is also building Squadron 42. They'll be using the same funding and resource pool. At its core, Squadron 42 is a AAA RPG campaign that takes place in the same universe and lore as Star Citizen. It's a hero's journey look at the world where the storyline is all about you, your decisions and actions, and this version of you has an impact on your character in the Star Citizen Persistent Universe. Think single-player campaign of something like Halo with top casting talent such as Mark Hamill, Gary Oldman, and Gillian Anderson. And again, using next-gen animation technology. Squadron 42 is being designed as an episodic journey where the first series of episodes is scheduled to release 
in 2016. These two games combined, Star Citizen and Squadron 42, are what Cloud Imperium Games is working to develop and deliver using their record-breaking crowdfunding campaign that began in 2012. So when someone says Star Citizen, often they're lumping both of those games into the conversation. And to date, that's how the game packages have been sold to help fund development. That's a lot of game, a lot of features, content, and a whole lot of promises. And clearly, there are enough people who want what's being promised to risk funding it. It's a game straight out of our sweetest dreams. So that should help you come to grips with what is Star Citizen and fill you in a little bit more about the background and history so you can join in on the conversation. Thank you for listening in. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and found it valuable. Please check out the show notes, which include links to content related to today's topic from some of my favorite Star Citizen creators. Be well and fly safe until next time. Show notes. For this week's show notes, I have two links from Board Gamer. One is a history of Star Citizen, and the other is what is Squadron 42. And then there's also the fabulous Imagine trailer, which was fan-made but eventually adopted as a trailer by Cloud Imperium Games. End transmission.